What's up ladies and gentlemen of the internets and welcome to Turmoil. Now this is a game where you are portrayed as an oil driller from the 19th century oil rush in North America. Uh, it's a really, really cool game. We actually played it last night on stream and people started out saying, you know, it's kind of boring, yada yada yada, and then everyone totally got into it as it got more and more complex. I would compare it a lot to Polybridge. I mean, it's a totally different game, but it's got that nice relaxed atmosphere that Polybridge does. And now that I'm done basically that, I gotta do something else. And Turmoil is exactly that. So let me know what you guys think it in the comments below hit that like button if you like it and we will do some more of it in the near future uh, so yeah we're gonna start a new campaign here uh, I'm gonna delete my old one I have played as I stated before for a couple hours so I do have an understanding of it which is good um, yep I want to delete that and we get to choose our character here we got Blanche Ricardo Daisy and Joshua we were actually Joshua before each one has their own unique backstory hello there does being a lawyer sound interesting not really to be totally honest I don't like reading about law delighted to make your acquaintance I made a nice living in real estate Ricardo um, he's He's a ship captain. Yeah, fuck that. I want to be Ricardo. We're going to do that. Uh, last time we were Joshua, so now I'm going to be Ricardo. Uh, this is essentially a tutorial part, so I'm going to skip through this really quickly, and then we're going to get into the gameplay. So for right now, there's nothing here. This is a city that is being built based on the oil industry. So each season, something new pops up. Right now, we just have Town Hall. We can't really do anything, so we got to go right to digging. Uh, that's why it's kind of boring at the start. There's not much... There's not much uh, strategy to it. It's just dig and get lucky. Um, but we're gonna get through this really quickly and we're gonna get to the more complex stuff. Welcome to your first oil mining operation. Just follow my instructions and the oil will be flowing in no time. Well, I actually know how to do this, so I'm not even gonna listen to him. We're gonna skip that tutorial. Uh, oh, well, I, I didn't know we could do that. Alright, we'll do that. Uh, we skipped the tutorial. We probably should have did that because we would have earned some more money, but alright, that's fine. Come to the town hall, meet your rivals, and get yourself a piece of land for your next venture. So each season, you plot out your own land. Okay, so here's all the oil miners. Again, we picked the characters. There's four oil miners, and this is all the plots of land. You gotta find that oil. You gotta strategically look around. Um, so, you could actually outbid each other, too. If someone wants to buy my plot of land, they might outbid me. I'm gonna go for... Because I kind of have an understanding, this side down here was really good last time, so I'm hoping it's that way again. Oh, do we actually have to go right beside it and then go further and further? Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, oh, it's on the house, that's right. So the first one we can't pick, but next season we get to pick a plot of land that we want. Okay, so that makes sense. Uh, we don't really get to choose much this time. That's fine, though. Good day! To celebrate the opening of my brand new bank, I've opened up an account for each of you. You can also visit me to view financial report of your last venture. Okay, well, we haven't had a venture yet, but we can get a loan if we want. No, thank you. We got $20,000. That's actually a lot to start out with, because we only use 2000 each time, as it states right here by Jill. Uh, so we're going to go oil digging right now. Hopefully we can get lucky. Okay, so this is where the strategy comes in. We got these little dowsers who look for oil. They stick their sticks in the ground. I, I, I think we call them stick shits or something like that on the stream. So I'm going to call them stick shits here to, cause, too, because that's what they are. They take fucking forever, and sometimes they lie. I swear they lie. They cannot find oil all the time. Okay, one call to me. He says there's oil down here. So now we put our little oil rig there and start digging down, and hopefully we can strike that oil. Uh, you kind of just got to look for it right now. Again, the game is very basic early on. Later on, we can get moles and other things that can find oil. Okay, this guy found one as well. I do have to watch my money, though, because I'm going to lose money relatively quickly here, especially when I'm building these pipelines. Uh, we're going to go straight down here. There's the oil. You can see it right there. So as long as we attach it to that, it's going to bring up oil. There we go. So now that we are obtaining oil, we gotta get a way to transfer that, and of course we are gonna use the wagon. Now, there's left ink right now. Oh, this guy found oil as well. Okay, so it's getting pretty qu uh, cr crazy pretty quickly. Oh, this guy found oil as well. Look at that. Okay, so I need to get money before I do anything, because uh, I'm running out. There we go. We're gonna drill into that, and bam, more oil, and let's buy some more wagons here to transfer said oil. So essentially all this is right now is supply and demand. This is a very basic version of the game. It gets more and more complex as it goes, as I stated. Right now we only have left ink. There's actually right ink as well um, when it gets more complex. I'm just waiting for money right now, so I'm going to explain things to you. Right now he's buying for 66 cents. That's actually a little low, so we're going to get them not selling them. We're going to make a, a silo. We'll put it right beside left ink so we can transfer really quickly. So they're going to immediately put the oil in the silo as long as I don't have anyone going to left ink. Now, because oil is so cheap right now, I am actually going to borrow $500 because I do want to put this oil rig down. I want to get as much oil as possible. We only got till June. Uh, you can see the date right here. Uh, oh, landing's edge of March, actually. Okay. 
Um, so I guess this one's way lower than what I remember. So that was essentially a waste of money because I didn't find oil yet. Um, we're actually gonna, I don't have a choice but to sell because I need money right now and I don't want to keep getting loans. And it's already last month. I forgot how early these first seasons were. It gets more and more longer as it goes on. These first seasons are extremely basic, I guess. So hopefully I can make a little bit of a profit here, but it's not gonna be too much, unfortunately. I got too cocky here. I shouldn't have put this one down. That cost me a lot of money and obviously it's not yielding me anything right now. I love this music. It again, it reminds me so much of Polybridge. It's just so relaxed and fun. I mean, there's a little strategy, a little thinking, and a lot of fun in this game. I highly recommend it if you do like a relaxed game. Okay, they're buying. They look, look at how much they're buying for. It's like real world right now. They're buying for so high. Keep selling. Keep selling, guys. We're on our last month. I think we only got four days left. Uh, so we're we're not gonna do too well this month. But I mean, hell. 1500 bucks back in the 1800s? That was a fucking lot of money. And here is... Look at that one, man. We should have drilled a little further. God damn it, that's a lot of oil. We don't have time to really yield much of it anyways. Uh, so we can view our financial report here. That's going to show me my supply. As you can see, I boomed it and then sold it. Uh, money. Uh, so I didn't... I spent a lot and then gained a lot. I actually spent more... Did I spend more than I gained? I don't really understand. No, okay, so it's about the same. Spillage, nothing, so we'll get more into that later on. Earnings, you get the idea. I mean, it's just cool graphs. I, I am a fan of graphs. I did go to school, actually, for operations management, so uh, graphs are my thing, and this game definitely has them. Okay, howdy, me howdy, my name is Fred Metal. Are you looking for to make your oil mining operation more efficient? Come to my factory and upgrade your gear. So that's what I'm talking about. There's going to be more and more things we can do. So if we go to the factory here, we probably don't have enough money to do anything right now. But I can upgrade the width of the oil, um, I guess you would say silos. I, I don't know what they're called. Oil, man, I can't think of the word. Pipes! Holy shit! Why, why would that not come to me? Uh, you can upgrade the, the size of the oil pipes. Obviously, you'll, you'll, yield more, you'll yield more quicker, which is actually extremely useful. We did that. Uh, you can make your silos bigger to store more. You could add two attachments to each drill, so you could drill for more. And then rigs are now more, more resistant against high pressure, so they don't overflow. We'll get into more overflow as we get more and more complex here. I'm not going to buy anything right now. I'm going to actually... You know what? I think I should buy um, a, a bigger width. That's going to give me almost double the yield as uh, compared to the small pipe. So that's it. We're going to go to Town Hall now. Let's gather and together and do some auctions. All right, so you can see everyone here with all their money. I spent some money. These guys are saving their money. That's fine. They can save their money. I want to yield more oil and get more money in the long run. Um, so we can see how we did last month, or sorry, last, well, year, because each, each season is one year, I think. Um, this one yielded 48, 43. The, uh, essentially, the higher the number, the more oil was on that plot of land. So you kind of want to follow the high numbers. Honestly, I think they're gonna bet for this one, so I'm gonna go up here and hopefully I don't need to bet uh, bet anyone. See, they're they're bidding each other. This is what's happening right now. They are bidding each other. So she spent $3,000 for that plot of land. We each spent 1000 for these plots. She's gonna probably have a better plot of land, but she just are, wait, wasted $2,000 on it, so more power to her. I'm fine with having a smaller plot of land as long as I can find that oil quickly. So, once again, we go out for another season of oil drilling, do the same thing, um, and it's, oh, from now on, uh, every level will run from January to June 30th. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about, and as well as you can see, looking for another place to sell your oil, come to me at my place. So we got right ink and left ink. Pretty unique names, right? Uh, <laughs> I think that's absolutely awesome. I usually use three guys here, um, because they take forever. I used to use one, uh, but thank God he found it right away. Good job, buddy. I just dropped him down and he found it. Uh, so we're gonna drill right down. And again, you don't want to drill too far because it, it costs a lot of money to make this place. And if you drill right through the oil, you actually have to bring it back. Like I did right now. You'll see that right now. Um, okay, so we got oil over here as well. To upgrade pipes capacity. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Um, we're still kind of in a tutorial here. So, oh, actually it is. It, it did hit the oil. It didn't go out of it. Good. Um, we're going to keep drilling down here. And, well, I don't really have enough money for another one, so I'm going to hire a wagon here because you can see the oil in the actual pipe. When that goes to the top, it starts overflowing, and then you get fined. Uh, so that's what you, what you really want to watch. You need enough wagons to uh, yield your oil. So, um, left ink's buying for $1.17. Holy shit, I should have paid attention to that, and I'm selling right away. Okay, I, th I think we're going to go for three drills today. I do have a general understanding of this game, which is good. Uh, I'm really glad I played the game before I actually did a video on it because... Honestly, the start, I was like, this is so boring. Uh, even right now, it's still even not that complex. Uh, we see they're still buying for $1.28. Let's keep going over there, guys. Sell everything, because I need money, as you can see. Okay, let's see if we can find the oil on this pipe. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, let's, hopefully it won't go too far. 
Um, that looks like a big, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna upgrade these pipes, so you just click on them, and that's going to yield more oil. I gotta watch for overflow, though, because I probably don't have enough wagons. I'm gonna buy a couple more wagons here. They're still buying for $1.24 over there. I gotta watch right ink, because they are going up as well, so I might want to sell the right ink soon. But, uh, yeah, this is essentially all the game is. It gets more and more complex every level, and you gotta strategize more and more. Okay, we got about 10 wagons. Actually, Left Ink is buying for less now, so everyone go to Right Ink. Look at them all go over. Ah, oh, supply and demand. I love it. This, this is an accurate... Oh, God, we're gonna overflow. This is an accurate representation of supply and demand. Oh, shit. Okay, we, we gotta hire lots. Hire lots, because I do not want to overflow because you get penalized and you get fines. Just like in real life. Obviously, they don't want oil laying around on the ground. Wow, so I actually have 15 wagons right now. I didn't have anywhere near this much. Uh, good thing I upgraded those pipes, because this is gonna be a big yield this this year. Okay, oil price is actually going down. At about 80, I tend to stop selling and I'll just store it, but the months are, or sorry, the seasons are so low right now, it's March, and it ends in June. Uh, April, May, June. So I do still have, I do still have quite a long time. I, th I think I will put a silo up in a minute here, once it drops down to about 80 cents. And then I'll just start storing it. Okay, he's at 83 cents. I feel like lefting is gonna go up soon, so I'm gonna put my silo right beside that. That way I can transfer it over really quickly when they start buying for extremely high. So everyone, now that I don't have any on left or right ink, they're just gonna put it right in the silo immediately. That's just how they do it. Um, oh shit, this pipe actually ended. Do I wanna drill and see if I can find more? I have the money to do so, and if we can, it's gonna yield us, you know, 33% more because it's one drill. Uh, so if I get lucky here, that'd be good. You can actually split these pipes as well, so I can go like this, and then go like this, and hope I can get lucky. Uh, it's looking like I just wasted a lot of money on this, because I don't think we're gonna find anything, unfortunately. My silo's almost full, I want, uh, so we gotta put up another silo as well. As you can see, prices are ridiculous right now. I'm actually worried, April, May, June, I only got two months left. Please up your prices, guys! Left and right ink, compete with each other! Because I need to sell this shit, I'm getting too much! I'm gonna have to buy another fucking silo already, oh my god! If it gets to the point where this silo gets filled, I'm going to have to just sell regardless of price because I have too much supply right now. I, there's no point in spending all this money buying silos when I only have a month left. Okay, the prices are slowly going up. They're at 60 cents. They're even right now. I want one to go up quicker. I think writing's going up way quicker. Uh, they're actually going both going up really quickly. And oil has slowed down because we lost another drill here. We ran out of oil. Let's start digging for more. Wow, we took that much oil out of the ground? That's crazy. Okay, all of my silos are actually done. Um, so I think I'm just gonna stop drilling. I'm happy with this. There's probably still more oil deep in the ground, but I don't want to spend money looking for it when I don't have moles or anything to find it. So I'm actually going to split this selling because they are going up. We'll put five and five right now and let it slowly go up more. It's probably going to go up to probably, I want to say $1.20. I'll be happy with that. Uh, sell all my oil and get the hell out of here and call it a season. I've never had it like this, where they are exactly on par at ridiculous prices. Like, they're so close right now, $1.12. Maybe we should just start being picky and selling it all to one guy, because uh, he's buying for more. You know, it's, it's only five cents more, but in the grand scheme of things, five cents is a lot of money when you're selling, you know, tons and tons of oil. Okay, that was actually a really good yield. Like, my first run through, I made maybe $3,000 this uh, season. Uh, now I'm, I'm, I have a better understanding of the game, so I'm earning a lot more money really quickly. Okay, let's see what I missed. Did I miss anything really close? Not really. I drilled in the worst directions ever. Um, that would have been a nice one to hit, but obviously we didn't get it. Profit of $14,000, though. That's really good. Uh, I spent $6,000. Not too shabby. That was pretty damn good. Let's see how I'm doing in the grand scheme of things. I'm at $23,000, but you gotta remember I did buy an upgrade already, and most of these guys didn't. Nice to meet you. I'm Edward, and I'm a bit of a handyman. I like to experiment with stuff that can help you find oil. Make sure you check out my inventions. Well, I will, Mr. Edward. Um, let's see what you got here. Okay, so these are the moles. I actually really like the moles. We're gonna buy that right away. They'll dig around, and then you'll see little plots in the ground, and sometimes you'll find those really deep wells that have a lot of oil in them. Extremely useful. Uh, he's also got a scanner, which is $30,000, which is ridiculous. I can't afford that right now. Uh, we have improved dowsing rods for the little dowser shits, and then we got speed to make them a little faster. I could actually buy that as well. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. We're gonna buy that, so dowser's gonna be faster. We're gonna have moles looking for oil. It's gonna be all good. Okay, so we got $5,000 left. That's more than enough because we go to Town Hall. We spend $1,000 generally unless we uh, compete. And then we spend $2,000 going to the oil um, fields. Okay, auction time. Let's see how we did here. 40, 45, 44, 48. That one's gotta be a hot plot of land, I think. 
I'm actually curious to see if there's anything different in the trees. I, I, I could also... Oh, land not yet available. Okay, so these are all open for bids. This desert land is not yet available. I'm going to assume the desert land, as it should be, has a lot of oil in it. Okay, everyone seems happy. They did have a little bit of a bidding competition over there. Uh, as long as I'm not spending money, I'm happy. I'm curious to see if there's actually any trees here or anything. Um, that might be a problem, because they might be in my way. Uh, so I, got, I guess we're going to find out, because I never did one of these plots of land. Alright, $2,000, here we go. There's no trees. Okay, who's this old guy? Try your new mole. Click, yeah, I know, I, I know. Okay, so we got moles now. Thank you. Oh, oh, it actually wants me to try it. Okay. Um, click somewhere on the ground, the mole will un undercover this spot, and then dig around to uncover five more random spots. Fun fact, moles are not blind, just very stubborn. Good stuff. Alright, so we're gonna click right here, where it's asking me to click. We're also gonna hire a dowser. I, I wasted a lot of time here, because he's talking to me. I wasted actually 11 days talking to that guy. Who the hell talks to an old guy for 11 days? So that, that mole's gonna go around. We're gonna put another random spot. Let's put it right here. Uh, there we go. He did find some oil. Look at that. That's where the mole comes helpful, because you know exactly where that oil is. Uh, so we're just gonna put it right there. That's gonna hit that oil, hopefully, and we're gonna start getting it. He found oil over there, so I might put a mole over here, see what he can find. Um, there we go, we got that oil. Okay, just because I have money, I'm going to put my drill down here. I'm not sure where the oil is, but I'm gonna drill somewhere like that, considering he undercovered that spot and there was no oil there. He undercovered this spot too, there's no oil there. Um, shit, this is gonna be hard to find. Oh, there it is, I can see the little orange spot. Hit it! Hit it! Oh, it's a, it's not, there's not much oil in there, but we got it, we're hitting oil, that's always good. Holy shit! Right ink's buying for $1.47, that's the highest I've ever seen. Upgrade this pipe here, because we need to get as much oil out of the ground as possible right now. Holy shit, that's a, that is seriously a lot of money. Oh, yes. Let the money roll in, baby. Okay, let's, get, let's hire some more wagons. Keep selling over here, keep selling over here, guys. Sell! 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 <laughs> I love this game. Okay, his, his price is going down fast. Uh, we're gonna drop off right now, may, may make a silo. Uh, I guess we'll make one in the middle, because I don't really have much of a strategy right now. Uh, <laughs> look at how fast this price is going down. We gave him so much oil so quickly. Oh my god, is he gonna hit zero dollars? He doesn't want oil, he's like, I'm not even buying it anymore. Here, one cent, we'll offer <laughs> nothing. I don't want your oil, I'm offering you nothing for it. Oh man, we, we, we gave writing way too much supply. I'm gonna hire another mole because we're gonna run out of oil soon here. Uh, as you can see, I'm randomly drilling around trying to get lucky. That, that is a stupid idea because it costs a ridiculous amount for pipes, but it is a quick way to find oil, too. If you get lucky, of course. Left eggs buying for 74 cents and going up. We're gonna sell all our oil here because we are filled, as you can see. Um, oh, he did find oil! Thank God! Now, the problem is I can't build a drill right here. We're actually just gonna attach this drill to it. Um, that's a three, $345 pipe. Sell quickly so I can buy it, please. Just waiting. There we go. I usually don't make pipes this long because it takes a long time to come out of the ground, but um, I don't really have a choice right now. I gotta get oil quickly. We're, we, we're not finding much oil on this plot of land. I don't really like this plot. Okay, I, I didn't even notice Right Ink's buying for a ridiculous amount right now, so we're gonna sell to Right Ink once again. He, he, he was at like zero cents like literally a minute ago, and now he's at $1.43. Jesus Christ. Okay, I just realized how big this one is, so I'm going to actually... Attach this to this. We're gonna both drill out of this uh, little oil oil node because we're not gonna have time. It's May 18th to get all that oil. If I can get two drills dr drilling into it, it's gonna be that much quicker. Now this is a ridiculous amount of money. Like I spent $400 adding that pipe. Come on, hit it, hit it. Oh, perfect. You can't make a better pipe than that. I had no idea where that node ended, and I did the perfect little. Uh, pipe there. So here we go. We're gonna be building some oil. We're gonna get oil quick. Oh shit. Stop selling to them I didn't even really that's the problem. You, you look away for a second. They're buying for 30 cents they, It goes down so quickly goddamn supply and demand last month though I don't have a choice we gotta spot sell the left ink even knowing it's going down uh, I gotta get this oil out of here I, If you're holding oil you don't get to store it over till next year You just don't earn money from it, which is I think kind of stupid I would like to have some sort of storing system where you can store it from year to year if you do not want to sell it but Right now, nobody wants to buy my oil, and then we only got 20 days left. I don't have a choice but to sell it at 40 cents. So I think this would be the definition of a bad season. We had uh, drills that didn't really work too well. We got two small nodes early on, and we took a long time to find this huge-ass node. Uh, on top of just shitty prices, uh, it, it, sometimes it happens. I mean, I still made a little bit of money, so I'm not complaining, but uh, definitely not as much as the, the year before. Uh, look at the size of this oil node, though. Holy f- I've never seen one that big. God damn it, I wish we hit that early on. 
Uh, we, but we still got a profit of $6,000, or well, $7,000. That's not too bad. We spent $5,000. Overall, I'm pretty damn happy. Hello there, I'm Raynar, the trainer. I take care of the horses to keep them healthy and ready for work. Drop by my stables and maybe we can help each other. Okay, so I actually actually haven't done much here. So you can upgrade the size of your wagon. Uh, this new training method makes the horses stronger so they can pull larger wagons. So obviously you'll yield more oil. And then uh, keep check of how many horses you have with this horse counter. Uh, that's not really that useful because you kind of know how many horses you have based on how much you can sell. Uh, when you click the arrow, it stops to the maximum amount of horses. Uh, the size thing definitely is helpful though, but I can't afford it unfortunately right now, so we just gotta go till the next season. Okay, so everything's pretty meh right now to be honest, like 40, 43, uh, 39. I think I'm just going to like risk it and go like way out here, maybe at the starting of this waterfall. I'm feeling good about that. We're, we're, we're going way out there. Uh, fuck these guys that just go close. This guy spent like $6,000 on this plot of land and she spent like five. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh my god. They both spent $6,000. That's crazy. You guys are stupid. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna go dig. Okay, so here's my nice plot of land that uh, I didn't have to auction for. I just bought it. <laughs> I don't really get why they fight so much. Okay, so we're gonna hire three dollars again. Typical to how I do. Um, and just random moles. Hopefully we get lucky. Okay, he found oil. They, he, they both found oil. Uh, so we're gonna put up, do we have, we probably have enough money to do two drills here. Let's hope we get lucky though and hit this oil quickly. Uh, sometimes it's really deep depending on how good the dowser is. I haven't upgraded my dowser, so uh, if you upgrade your dowser, actually I did upgrade them, didn't I? So they can find oil pretty damn deep. I don't know how, they're just putting a stick in the ground. But they can somehow find oil pretty damn deep. Okay, so that's a decent one. He actually found a, look at the size of this one. You can see the orange over here. That is huge. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay. This has got- oh, this is two of them, okay. So we got that one, and then we got this one as well. Uh, we're definitely gonna upgrade this, because this is gonna be a good yield. I actually might- wow, there's another one right here! We're finding a lot of oil this time, that's good. I'm actually gonna get a bank loan here, uh, because I want to get all of these. So upgrade this, upgrade this, upgrade this, hire horse, there we go. Um, shit, I probably shouldn't have did that. Uh, I shouldn't have upgraded yet anyways until I have enough horses to get all this oil out of here. Um, right's buying for a dollar, so we're gonna sell over there. Oh god, oh god. Higher! Take it! Oh my god, this is- this is bad. This is not good. I- <laughs> I'm gonna overflow. I gotta get another loan, goddammit. I need hunting horses. I need lots of horses. Lots of horses. Lots of horses. All the horses. Buying for a dollar twenty-two. Everyone sell. Holy shit! This is, this is what happens when it goes crazy at the start when you find a lot of oil really quickly because you don't have enough money to keep up. Uh, buy horses! Everyone buy horses! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, so we got 11 horses right now. That should be enough. Look at the size of this thing. I need to put it down another drill. We're going to uh, double drill this bad boy. We're going right into that one. Fuck this little one because he's going to mine all, all that. I'm also going to need to hit this one over here. Uh, this one, I don't know how big it is, but I'm just going to keep that pipe at uh, the tier 1. This is an upgraded pipe, so that's going to yield a lot. Okay, there we go. We, we got two drills going on there. Um, shit, this, well, this guy found oil. I'm actually just going to... Cannot connect more pipes. Shit, that's right. Uh, I got to attach it from this pipe, I guess, to over here. Okay, so this is kind of a ghetto-ass setup. I probably should have put down another drill. But, uh, whatever. Okay, Left Ink. I gotta pay attention to the prices. I'm not paying enough attention to the prices. Because Left Ink's buying for a ridiculous amount right now. Okay, there we go. That's actually a little one. I'm gonna upgrade both of these pipes, though. Um, hopefully we're gonna have a good season this year. I don't know. It's hard to tell. This one's huge. But we got two drills on it, so we should yield most of it out. Man, we are still pulling oil out of here. Oh, I think it just ended. It turned brown. I think, yep. Okay, so we mined out that whole one. Uh, we don't have much oil left. We're at $14,000, though, so not not too bad of a year. We still got, uh, actually a full month. I could kind of dig around here, but I honestly don't want to waste money doing it. There, there comes a point when you just, you spend so much money looking for oil that it doesn't yield much to get that oil. Especially when we have, when we only have, like, 20 days left. So I think I'm just gonna sell everything and, once again, wait it out. Uh, we, we're actually still pulling oil out of this one, so it, it might end up perfectly where I just make enough or sorry, I just pull out all the oil and sell it, so that's ultimately what you want. You want to sell all the oil that you find. Okay, we got 10 days left. We're still selling for about 90 cents, which isn't that bad. It is going down though, but we're running out of oil as well. We got two dried pipes. This one's still sucking. This one's been sucking the whole time. This thing might be huge, I don't know. It just didn't look that huge because a mole found these two things, so I didn't think it went that deep. But he's been sucking this whole fucking time. 
Um, but it isn't an upgraded pipe either. So yeah, it's not that big. Wow, actually look at that. So there was a few over here, there was a few small ones, but that's honestly perfect, because you don't want to go all the way down and get those ones anyways. So we did, we earned $15,000, spent uh, 5000 or so, well, almost 6000 and uh, yeah, I had to pay $579 worth of interest for getting those loans. Not too bad though, we did pretty damn good. Hi, welcome to my bar. Make yourself comfortable and mingle with the crowd. They may have some inter some interesting offers for you. Uh, so let's go see what they have to offer. We got Kyle and Ono. Uh, Ono's a pretty... I never saw a name as Ono. I like that name, actually. Tired of low prices? Slip me some cash. Um, the price of left ink will never go below 95? That's actually really good. You can just constantly sell to left ink. Uh, it is expensive. It's eleven thousand six hundred dollars. So I'm not going to spend that buy that yet. We'll wait till the seasons are much longer to buy things like that. Um, and then we got at right ink. The price can uh, can be even more right for a small personal donation. Our price will stay above sixty four cents for the coming year. Now that's not too bad either. But honestly. I don't have a problem selling on my oil, and I sell it usually at about 80 plus. So, again, I'm not really worth it. But yeah, guys, this was the first episode of Turmoil. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, this is all up to you if you want to see more of it. Uh, hit that like button if you do. If we get over, I want to say a thousand likes, because right lately we've been doing really good, like seven, eight hundred likes just on any general video. So if we get over a thousand, I'll do another episode or two, and uh, yeah, we'll have some fun with it. Thanks once again for watching and liking, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, this is a quick message thanking you for watching my video. I hope it gave you literally minutes of enjoyment. I have playlists and videos like this one at the top right of your screen. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or support me on Patreon, the links are in the description of this video. Thanks once again for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.